This is the first episode in a series where I plan on automating several different things, completely opposite ends of the scale, to hopefully get my channel going. And this one will be detecting utility power failures versus circuit breaker trips. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so as you can see on the screen, I have two different UPS input voltages. I have a, it says doghouse volts, that is a uh, CASA switch um, energy monitoring, I think it's an HS110. Then I have two um, sensors here that say connected. These are uh, just ping sensors, I think normally they go every 60 to 120 seconds, normally. Now the automation we're going to make here is we're going to determine whether or not it was a breaker that flipped or if the power is actually out. Now since I have UPS power, my internet and stuff will still work for about, I don't know, two or three hours, um, even after a power outage. Well, maybe longer, I don't remember, but um, these UPSs are important because I have the last 15 amp circuit I haven't replaced at my house yet. So sometimes it does trip, and if I'm not home, I think it'd be good to know whether or not that breaker tripped. And I'm gonna make a notification that says which breaker it was and this doghouse circuit, this is actually on a completely different line. I think this is on the left line in the surface line. I think this is on the right one. So the phase one and phase two. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do is we're going to open this in a new tab. Got automations. We're going to go ahead and create a new one. First thing we're going to want to do is make a template trigger. And I will put the link to my GitHub in the description, or I'll put this in the description. But what I'm saying here is, uh, if the doghouse or the washing machine ping sensors both say off, and is state off, not or, is state and is state. So if they both stop pinging, then that's what it is. So, put washing... And then I will edit, rename it, paste. All right, let's go ahead and hit save just to go ahead and save our progress. So the way I name mine, this would be system power loss. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to action. We're gonna hit choose. Now we're gonna go triggered by this. So if there's no ping, and the numeric state is, actually, yeah, we'll do that. So, and, because these are the UPSs, so the UPSs will maintain power even if there's no input voltage. So if this is below 50, so if the, neither one of these ping, and they're both on separate, um, phases of the utility power coming in. One's on the even breaker, one's on the odd breaker. So if neither one of those are pinging, confirm that the input voltage on the UPS is below 50, which it will still be able to do and the internet will still work, right? Now we're both of these. We're going to do this, we're going to call service, we're going to do notify. Let's go ahead and notify this is my cell phone. The utility power loss. So I can't type today. All right. So what you see here is, again, there's no ping because they're both off and that would be what the state of these would be. Right now it says connected, but we actually get developer tools when we look it will say on or off. So if they're both off and we confirm that the UPS is that, we do this. 
Now let's go ahead and make another another trigger. We'll go. How should we do this? We'll do generic state. We'll look for that cyber power. The voltage. Below 50. We're gonna edit the ID. Call this UPS01. Below 50 volts. Then for consistency, we're gonna rename it the same. Right? So now we can go down here, we can option at condition triggered by UPS below 50 volts. Now, what we're going to do is, is we are going to, there's a couple ways we can do this. We can either do, we can switch the rolls around and say that the doghouse has no ping and the washing machine, because again, I'm using those because they're on specific different circuits. And if they're not pinging, it means they're just not on. I can't use their input voltages because if there's no input voltage and the device is off. So it's kind of a stupid sensor in that case that you can use the voltage, but anyway. So what we're going to do here is, we're going to say if the UPS is below 50 volts, and we can do it like this. We do template, copy, we can paste, and we switch these to on, because in this case they will be on. This means that the power has not completely gone out, it just means that for some reason on this circuit, we get below 50. But if these are still pinging, then that means that the utility power is not out. Chances are this breaker tripped. So we're gonna do a call service. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did up here. We're gonna do notify. And you remember what this title was up here. Copy, paste, copy. Paste. And then in my case it's a uh, breaker 21. Or instead of reset, let's go ahead and say check breaker 21. Alright, so if we break this down again real quick. So we have one here, and so there's no ping on either one. Right? And on our choose actions, we're going to see that, uh, where's that? So here's this one, so washing machine, doghouse, no ping, they're both off. But we're also trying to see here that the cyber power thing is below 50. Because that would imply that it has lost power as well. Now the chance of both of them both tripping is pretty, pretty rare. If it does, I mean, anything's possible, I mean, you should still go check, but... In this case, we'll go ahead and do this. Utility power loss has been detected. So the title will be utility power loss. Now on the second case in this automation, we're just saying that the UPS1, which is this one, has dropped below 50. Alright. Now the condition here is, is that both of those are on. Which would suggest that those two circuits are still active, they still have power coming to them, so utility has not failed. Chances are the breakers just tripped, and in my case it's a 15 amp circuit, and I have a server that has a 1500 watt power supply, so not including the network equipment, the lights, and whatever else is up here, I'm, I'm needing to split it up into a couple dedicated circuits, but point aside, chances are it's just a breaker that's tripped and not the actual utility power has failed. And I have done one similar to this, and the automation works very well because, again, my UPSs keep uh, the internet stuff working for several hours after utility power loss. So these will still send even if you'd have lost utility power.